There's actually a, a concept that I talked about in Innovator's Mindset. It was called competitive collaboration. And I, I, I am like, I, I think we do this too much in education. We swing pendulums to like crazy sides, right? So it's like when I was uh, a kid in school, uh, basically we did math drills and you would like compete against each other and you try to like, you know, crush everybody in your time tables and be the best at time tables. And now it's like, we don't necessarily want to do that. We want everyone to like, it's just like an overemphasis on collaboration. And I actually, I, I think collaboration's good. I think a little competition's good. So I really was drawn to that term. And when you hear the term competitive collaboration, uh, one of the analogies that I utilized was there was these two biology classrooms and they were different schools and the teachers wanted that their class to be the best, right? So they were actually utilizing a shared hashtag uh, to show like what was going on in their classroom. And so th the kids would connect with each other, you know, in these classrooms through this hashtag. And one of the kids from one class say like, oh, I saw this class is doing this. And the teacher's like, yeah, well, we'll we're going to do something better. And they would actually push each other. But the reason I love the, the notion of competitive collaboration, it, the two teachers worked together as well. It wasn't like, it wasn't like, I'm going to have the best class. Yours is going to suck and we're going to crush it. It was like, hey, we're pushing each other. And so I want to do really well, but if you need anything, I'm always here for you. So it's kind of like that kind of back and forth. So like when, when we were talking about that, I was, I was really kind of drawn to that notion of competitive collaboration, because I think there, there is a balance of both of that. Hey, I want the best for my kids, but I want the best for all kids. And that means we push each other and, you know, uh, we su support one each other, uh, one another as well. And so the last question I ask you, this is, uh, airing. Hey, 2023, this is a question I've been asking uh, all my guests, you know, so last couple of years, you know, that <laughs> we don't talk about uh, have been, you know, very all over the place. So as people end, you know, enter 2023, what is something, you know, something they can focus on? What's something that, you know, they're, what they can look forward to in this year, or, you know, something that we could focus on to, to grow as, as individuals and as organizations? Wow. That's a great question. Um, you know, as, as I look into to 2023 and, and I look at, you know, to me, one of the biggest issues is keeping good people in the profession. Uh, that, that and, and, and what you talked about as far as collaboration and even mm -hmm. any kind of collaboration or competitive co collaboration, that, that you... You, you do all you can to support those that are still with us and to keep them from getting, because, because things are being piled on to, to right. teachers more and more and more. And there's, there, I, and I would say have this strong sense of purpose that, that if, you know, the thing I'm, I'm recognizing about the teacher leaders and, and I coached, I coached a lot of administrators and, and coaching teacher leaders is different in that, what you feel from them is a sense of a purpose. They all know why they're there, and they're there for kids. Mm -hmm. And and, uh, and 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 so what they they are willing to to have critical conversations with administrators about what's going on in the school. I mean, th that's that's where we we need to find a way for leaders who are who are natural leaders and committed and have a purpose to love kids. To do that and stay in the classroom, George. I I I don't know the answer to that, but but I think it can be done. Uh, you know, I think it needs to be done. So I would just want to raise the level of teacher retention and, and teacher appreciation, and uh, and going to back and, and and as an administrator, get out of their way, make things easier for them rather than harder for them. I mean that that could be your one job. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking down the barriers so you can do your job, teacher. Well, you know, we went to school in different, you know, decades when we were kids. And I've always said this, probably the time frame of our school day was almost exactly the same, even though we went to school in different decades. But the expectations upon teachers just keeps growing and growing and growing. And, and you're like, you're expected to do more, but in the same amount of time. And so that starts filtering out outside of school, you know, after and things like that. So you know, based on your advice, one thing I always tell administrators is if you're going to add something on to the plate of teachers, you should be able to take one to two things off, 
right? You, you have to identify that because even if you, if you don't explicitly say that, and maybe implicitly you're, you, you know, you mean that they, they have to, they have to know this is now, okay, Hey, we're going to move forward with this, but we're, we're like, this is, we're done with this. We don't need to do this anymore. And so really being thoughtful of that, uh, in that process. And if you, if you, if you can't take one to two things off, then don't add one to two things like that. That to me yeah. is a really important aspect, right? Then, then and, and as a coach, I coach the teachers who are leaders who they keep piling on to go back to their administrators and say, sir, uh, I'm doing this, this, and this, and you're adding this too. Right. I need for you to take something off. So, so they both have this. Re- I mean, that's why I, I coach yeah. them. I, I do a lot of let's, let's plan a crucial conversation yeah. with your principal because there's, 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 there's they're swallowed up. They're, yep. they're burdened down, you know, and they get discouraged. And and uh, and I, I don't want them to leave. <laughs> and I, yeah, and I appreciate you saying that because I I would say this to my staff all the time. I cannot solve a problem I don't know exists. And I think sometimes uh, some people are listening to this right now, and they're like, "Yeah, I wish my administrator knew that." Tell them, say something right. like, "Hey, I heard this advice. Like, even just take this take this snippet of the podcast." share like, Hey, what do you think about this? Like maybe, maybe you don't want to say it, but maybe we just said it for you and maybe that will help get somebody out there as well. 